everybody if you are making a move to coastal Georgia then you definitely want to tune in for this video today I'm gonna go over the top five pros and top five cons of living in Darien Georgia now where is Darien Georgia you might ask that's really why I'm very excited because if you're doing your Google research you might not even come across Darien so this is kind of like a little secret hidden gem located just north of the Golden Isles which is really where I primarily focus talking about is living in the Golden Isles now the Golden Isles is Brunswick St. Simons Island um, you've got Jekyll Island and then of course Sea Island which is on St. Simons Island but we're gonna scoot up just a little bit north so the Golden Isles is Blinn County County, Georgia and just the county north of that is Macintosh so you're headed north up to Savannah and you will get to a cute little town called Darien Georgia now the word little is very accurate there it is a teensy tiny little one red light town and we are going to dive into the top five pros and top five cons of living in Darien Georgia hi I'm Cassie Long with Horizon Realty and I help individuals and families just like you relocate right here to coastal Georgia so if you're making a move and you want to get more information about what it's like to live work play here in the Golden Isles then all of my contact information is down in the description box below seriously I get calls texts emails every single day of people just like you looking to make a move so whether that's nine days or 90 days I look forward to helping you make that move all right let's get back to the video all right let's start with the good stuff pro number one is going to be the gorgeous coastal scenery now that's kind of a given but if you look at it on the map you'll see there's Butler River the Altamaha River and those are kind of the two main rivers of course there probably are some more but that does lead you out into the Atlantic so not only are are you going to have gorgeous coastal waterway views but you are going to have that direct access to the Atlantic Ocean so there's plenty of spots to let in your boat kayak to go fishing to canoe any of that fun kind of stuff so if you are an avid outdoorsy person and you like to go boating or fishing like I just said then you will really love all of the access that you get right there in Darien and even if you don't enjoy those kinds of outdoor activities um, given that it is very hot here and we do have a lot of bugs then you'll love just seeing the beautiful coastal waterways just driving over that bridge every single day if you work in Brunswick and you drive over from Darien into Brunswick it's a gorgeous drive the sunrises and sunsets are beautiful and you get to see the shrimp boats coming in and the coastal waterway views really are just stunning so that is going to be pro number one now for pro number two small town living like I said in the intro it is a very very small town so based on your wants and your needs that could be a very big pro to you or it could be a con so I'll let you decide I'm gonna put it in the pros because we're gonna talk about the positive side of it being a small town so one there's no traffic um, given that there's one red light you are very rarely even stopped um, so that is a huge perk to it being a small town. And then it's also just a really tight knit community. Everyone, everyone kind of knows everyone in town. If you go to any of the little shops in town, it's likely that you are a regular everywhere. Um, and so it's just a really cute small town with a tight knit community. Moving on to pro number three, it's gonna be really rich in history. Darien itself is a very old community and they've done a good job of restoring a lot of the older buildings that are there kind of on the Darien waterfront. Um, that's kind of Darien's like little downtown strip. It's very, very small. It's the Darien waterfront. It's very cute, very charming. And they're actually in the works of restoring one of the old buildings there and turning it into a brewery with a rooftop bar and that will overlook um, you know that coastal waterway there and it it really is going to be really beautiful every time we would go down to the waterway we would always talk about how they need to do something with that beautiful old building and now they finally are and just a little bit further up the road there's Butler Island and sadly Butler plantation the house that was there um, just burnt down very sad but the community is also working on restoring the old dairy 
parlor that is there, the Butler, I think it's called the Butler Island Dairy Parlor. It's a white building, um, very old, and they're working on restoring that. I don't know exactly what they'll be doing with the building, but I do know that it's kind of community effort all coming together, working to restore that. So that's just some of the little historical you know fun parts about Darien and then you can actually go from Darien over to Sapelo Island um, and learn all of that history over there so if you don't know anything about the history of Darien just look it up there's lots of fun facts and and things like that but that is another pro to living in in Darien is you have access to all of that right there all right, pro number four, outdoor activities. So I kind of talked about this with the small town living, but like I said, you have that access for all of the outdoor activities and you have that close proximity to Brunswick. So you're looking at about 20, 25 minutes to get into Brunswick where you have even more opportunity for outdoor activities and just you know, more amenities than you would have in Darien. So access to more local restaurants and things like that. And then you also are not too far, maybe 40 minutes to St. Simon's Island, which of course has a plethora of outdoor activities available to you. And then also about 40 minutes to Jekyll Island, which you can go biking around Jekyll Island, you know, all of those fun things. And lastly, pro number five is going to be affordable living. So when you talk about coastal living, your prices, they start to get a little bit steep, right? So Darien, when you look at coastal, coastal areas on the map, you're gonna be looking at like Savannah, and then you know there's Townsend, there's Darien, and then you keep going down and you get into Brunswick and St. Simons Island, and then you, you keep going down the coast, St. Mary's, and then even further into Florida, um, Amelia Island, and places like that. So in terms of coastal living, Darien's gonna be pretty affordable, um, you know, in comparison to all that, and really just even in comparison to to Georgia and Georgia's coastline. So um, if you're looking to maybe get a little bit more privacy, maybe the opportunity for a little bit more uh, land, then Darien might be a potential for you, especially if you're working in Brunswick. Like I mentioned, it's not that far and it's really not that far from Savannah either. So I'm gonna loop this in on a pro, is the close proximity to Savannah, Georgia, which if you've never been to Savannah, Georgia, or you've never heard of Savannah, Georgia, definitely look it up. Um, gorgeous city, so much history in Savannah. Um, I mean, obviously it's a really big tourism um, spot for Georgia, but we went the other, I mean, we go to Savannah all the time, but we went the other weekend and dropped my, my kids off with my in-laws in Darien, and it only took us 50 minutes. 50 minutes to get to Savannah. I mean, it, that's a day trip. Like when we live in Camden County now, but when we lived in Brunswick, we would take day trips up to Savannah all the time. And even where we are now, we're like an hour and 20 minutes. It's not bad. So really anywhere, you know, in the Golden Isles area and stretched a little bit, you're not that far. So being in Darien, Georgia and only 50 minutes from Savannah, I mean, you could work in Savannah if you needed, if you needed a, a you know, more corporate style job. Um, you could work in Savannah. So just having that close proximity to there is amazing. All right, now let's get real. Every town or city, you know, has some really great things about it. And then every town or city has some really not so great things. So we are gonna talk about the cons of living in Darien. So your first con is going to be that there's very limited shopping and restaurants. Um, so on the Darien waterfront, you do have a couple restaurant options. There's Mexican restaurant, there's Skipper's, which is on the water. It's really good. A lot of people bring their boats over, super fun. You can also, you know, drive up and park. Um, and it's a really great restaurant. There's um, Mudcat Charlie's there in Darien. There's another new little restaurant. It's changed, I don't know the name of it right now. It's changed ownership a couple times, but there's a few of those and then um, I'm not big on chain fast food restaurants, but there's really not even any of those. I think there's like a Pizza Hut, you know, so there's no Chick-fil-A, um, there's no Target, there's no Walmart, there's no shopping. Like there's a coastal um, marketplace, I think is what they call it. It's like a, a little um, grocery store. There's a Dollar General and there's a Family Dollar. Um, actually, it might be Family Dollar and Dollar Tree, like right next to each other. Anyway, there's dollar stores um, and a small grocery store. And that's about it. There's a couple little like, you know, um, 
where you can get fresh produce, like a farmer's market style shop downtown, um, and maybe one or two other like little boutique small businesses, um, which are really great to see in a town. But other than that, there is no shopping. So you are going to be driving into town, into Brunswick, to do your shopping, which in Brunswick, there are definitely a lot more options. There is a Walmart, there is a Target, there is a Publix, there's a Winn-Dixie, you know, so you have a lot more options. But then of course, if you wanna do some major shopping, you're gonna be driving that 50 minutes um, up to Polar, Georgia, where the Tanger outlets are, or um, up to, into Savannah. There's tons of shopping on Broughton Street and surrounding in Savannah. There's lots and lots of options. Um, so do keep that in mind that there's very limited shopping and restaurants. So if you're one that wants that quick, you know, right at your fingertips, just drive right into dinner every single night, just five minutes, you're, you're really not gonna have that unless you thoroughly enjoy the Pizza Hut. All right, con number two, obviously with limited shopping and dining and just overall you know amenities like that is going to come limited job opportunities so if you're looking to work in the city in which you live you are going to have very limited job opportunities but of course you are not far from brunswick which has more options and of course you're not far if you don't mind commuting all the way to savannah then you will have a lot more options but a lot of people are working from home these days, or you can just start a small business. Come to Darien and start a small business and work for yourself, be your own boss. But just keep that in mind that there are not very many job opportunities actually in Darien there, but there aren't very many people that live in Darien and actually work in Darien. All right, and con number three is going to be the risk of tropical storms. So given that you're in coastal Georgia, you are always going to run that risk um, they don't really get direct hits with hurricanes, but tropical storms, flooding, lots and lots of rain, that is going to happen during hurricane season. I'm actually filming this right now. You might can hear the rain. Um, we just had Hurricane Debbie come through. Um, not much damage was done. My in-laws are actually in Darien and they never lost power or anything. So um, you do have that risk, you know, of maybe getting some flooding depending on where you are in Darien if you're in a flood zone. Um, and of course the, the higher winds and tropical storm weather and everything like that, given that you are on the coastline and close to coastal waterways. So do your research on that and when searching for homes, always check the flood history, flood, um, flood zone, flood insurance and all of that because it will be factored in, you know, of course with your homeowner's insurance and everything like that. Okay, con number four is going to be limited healthcare facilities. I don't think I need to go into too much detail with this. You are close to Brunswick, which has a hospital. So that is where your closest hospital is going to be. So again, that's at least 25 minutes to the hospital, maybe 30. It depends on you know where you are in Darien. Um, so I would just say about 30 minutes. Um, now McIntosh does have a fire department with ambulances, so they do run, you know, emergency medical services. And I think there are some primary care providers out there, um, maybe, maybe one or two, or two small offices, but it's likely that if you live in Darien, you are going to do almost everything in Brunswick. Um, I mean, there are some smaller places in, in Darien, yes, but if you need specialized healthcare, then you are likely either coming to Brunswick and if Brunswick doesn't offer it, then you are likely going to Savannah. Now Savannah has a ton of options as far as healthcare because it is a larger city. So do your research there, but just know that in Darien, even just a regular hospital and emergency room department, you're going to be traveling over to Brunswick. All right, now this last con could be a pro or a con based on your wants and needs. So I'm gonna call it slower pace of life, which a lot of people, a lot of clients that I get that are relocating to coastal Georgia, they're really looking forward to that slower pace of life. But I do hear it a lot. A lot of people look at Darien, they look at homes, um, you know, just on, on Zillow, and they're like, wow, this is beautiful, and it's affordable, and the water views, and then they drive through Darien, and they're like, oh, okay, so like, what do you do? Um, there is not much. Now, the Darien waterfront does do a good job of putting on events, and they, they try really hard to you know, stay active in the community and they do a great job with them. They'll do them, you know, 4th of July, like all those like larger holiday events and they'll do like second Saturdays and, and stuff. So they do do cute like markets and events and things like that. But aside from the times when those events are happening, there is not anything to do unless you're, you know, putting your boat in, um, living the coastal dream. So unless you are 
24 seven boating or fishing, doing that kind of stuff, or it's a holiday, then there's likely not much to do. Again, you will likely be coming into Brunswick. So uh, hopefully you're picking up on that theme there. Um, you know, if you live in Derry and you're kind of paying for that quiet, coastal, um, private lifestyle, but still close enough to come into Derry, but you, you just, you do have to kind of get used to like, oh, okay, we're gonna go into town, into Brunswick to do everything. Um, now, I will say McIntosh County did just develop this brand new, beautiful park, and it's got, um, baseball fields, football fields, I think soccer fields too. So like all the main sports fields um, and a playground, a walking trail. So all of that is brand new, which is going to be really great, especially for the school system. It's gonna help boost that school system up. Um, there is Macintosh Academy for high school. Um, and then I'll put here how many different elementary schools and middle schools there are. And you can see their ratings here. Now, hopefully that kind of encouragement with the youth sports will help. Um, with the schools and everything in the district. So that is going to be your last con of living in Darien, Georgia, is that it is a slower pace of life and there's just not much to do. Um, but again, uh, hopefully you would enjoy being close to a larger city. And there you have it. There are your top five pros and top five cons of living in Darien, Georgia. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you wanna learn more about what it's like to live maybe in Brunswick, Georgia, where you have closer access to other amenities, a little bit closer to um, you know, St. Simons Island and Jekyll Island, things like that, then you can watch this video right here. Thanks for tuning in guys. And remember all of my information is down in the description box below.